brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Macrotarsemis petteri. Macrotarsemis petteri, also known as Petter's big footed mouse, is a Madagascan rodent in the genus Macrotarsemis, with a head and body length of 150 mm and body mass of 105 grams. Macrotarsemis petteri is the largest species of its genus. The upper parts are brown, darkest in the middle of the back and the underparts are white to yellowish. The animal has long whiskers, short forelimbs, and long hind feet. The tail ends in a prominent tuft of long, light hairs. The skull is robust, and the molars are low-crowned and cuspidate. Macrotarsemis petteri is now found only in the Mikia forest of southwest and Madagascar. But subfossil records indicate that it used to be more widely distributed in southern Madagascar. Climatic changes and competition with introduced species may have led to the shift in its distribution. The Mikia forest, the only place where it is still known to occur, is threatened by human development. Taxonomy during a 2003 biological inventory of the Mikia forest, a forest region of southwest and Madagascar, a single specimen of the rodent genus Macrotarsemis was collected. This animal turned out to be distinct from both previously known species of the genus Macrotarsemis. Bastardi, which is widespread in western Madagascar, and the larger Macrotarsemis in gens known only from the Ankarafansika National Park. Accordingly, Stephen Goodman and Voahangi Sori Malala named it in 2005 as a new species, Macrotarsemis petteri. The specific name of petteri honors French zoologist François Petter for his contributions to the study of Malagasy rodents. M. petteri the largest species in the genus is most similar to M. and Gens, which may be its closest relative. Description Macrotarsemis petteri is a terrestrial rodent with short forelimbs and long hind feet, with a head and body length of 150 mm and body mass of 105 grams in the only known complete specimen. It is much larger than M. bastardi, and its measurements fall at or above the upper end of the known range of variation in M. in gens. The upper parts are covered with soft and short brown fur. Most cover hairs are dark brown, for the two-thirds closest to the base, then light brown, with a short dark brown tip. The middle of the back appears darker, because the cover hairs there are entirely dark brown. The hairs are 6 to 8 mm long on the shoulders and 7 to 9 mm on the back. The guard hairs are grey, because the flanks lack entirely dark cover hairs. They are slightly lighter than the rest of the upper parts. They are sharply separated in colour from the underparts, which are entirely white to buffish. The mustachial vibrissae are long, up to 60 mm, and white to black in colour. The pinny are dark brown and covered with fine grey hairs, and ear length is 32 mm. Hind foot length is 37 mm. The upper sides of the feet are covered with greyish white fur, which extends around the claws to form ungual tufts. On the hind feet, the fifth digit is relatively short at 6 mm, the hallux is 8 mm long, and the other digits 11 to 12 mm. The tail is 238 mm long and naked in part. At the base, it is dark brown both above and below, but slightly lighter below. The upper side remains dark brown for much of its length, though the color does become lighter towards the tip. The lower side becomes mottled at about 55 mm from the tip and then whitish at about 65 mm. Macrotarsemis petteri has a well-developed tuft at its tail tip, consisting of whitish and occasional light brown hairs. 
This tuft commences at about 130 mm from the base, with fairly short hairs and becomes more pronounced at 180 mm. In contrast, M. Ingens has a weaker, dark brown tuft. Macrotarsomys peteri has a large and robust skull, with well-developed zygomatic arches. The interorbital region of the skull is smooth, as in M. In gens, and lacks the shelves characteristic of M. bastardi. The palate is broad, and the incisive foramen are long and broad. In the mandible, the root of the lower incisor is housed in a distinct capsular process, a protuberance. At the back of the jawbone, the lower masteric ridge is prominent. As is typical of macrotalsomies, the molars are cuspidate and low-crowned. Distribution and ecology The single known living specimen, a young adult male, was collected at 80 meters altitude in the Andaladomo forest in 2003. The Andaladomo forest is different in vegetation from the rest of the Mikia forest and is similar to forests further to the north on Madagascar. The animal was found in an isolated fragment of dry deciduous forest and midland cleared for maize cultivation. The trap was set at the foot of a tree surrounded by bushes and succulent plants. Other small mammals known from the Mikia forest include Macrotarsomys bastardi, the introduced black rat, several species of Tenrex, and the Shrewsuncus madagascariensis. Although only a single individual of M. peteri was caught during Goodman and Sorry Malala's survey, which accrued 3,100 trap nights, they argue that this does not necessarily mean the species is rare, since trapping rates for rodents in the dry forests of Madagascar are often variable depending on year and season. Nothing is known of its behavior, but the animal's morphology suggests it lives on the ground. Subsequent to its discovery at the Mikia forest, Macrotarsomys peteri was also found as a subfossil in cave deposits. At Andrahomana in far southeastern Madagascar, a find reported in 2006. There, it was found together with more abundant remains of the introduced black rat and house mouse as well as indigenous rodents such as Macrotarsomys bastardi. 2M. Peteri bones were radiocarbon dated to 790 to 410 BCE and 150 to 390 CE, respectively, a period when the local climate became drier and humans first appeared. Macrotarsomys species are thought to burrow in sandy ground and would not be expected to enter caves, therefore, the subfossils are probably remains of animals eaten by birds of prey. Although M. Peteri could conceivably persist in remnant pockets of wet habitat in southeastern Madagascar, searches at two sites near Andraho, Mana failed to confirm its presence. It may have become locally extinct in the area, because of the drying climate and competition with the black rat. In 2009, Macrotarsomys peteri was also recorded from the cave of Ankalitolo in southwestern Madagascar. Remains of a large Macrotarsomys had previously been reported from other southern Madagascar sites, and at least some of these may be M. peteri. A karstic deposit near Lake Simanimpetsotsa contained three species of Macrotarsomys including a very large one that may well be M. peteri. Remains identified as Macrotarsomys in gens have been reported from a cave at Ankas Oabo in southern Madagascar. These may also be M. peteri. Conservation status the IUCN Red List assesses Macrotarsomys peteri as data deficient but notes that the species will very probably qualify as threatened if its current distribution turns out to be restricted to primary forest in the Mikia forest. The Mikia forest is one of the largest remaining forests of southwestern Madagascar. 
but it is not protected and is threatened by logging, pasture, and conversion to agricultural land. Literature cited Garbutt, and 2007. Mammals of Madagascar, A Complete Guide. ANC Black, 304 pp. Goodman, S.M. and Sorry Malala, B. 2005. A New Species of Macrotarsemes from Southwestern Madagascar. Proceedings of the Biological Society of Washington 118 to 450 minus 464. Goodman, S. M. Basey, N. and Bernie, D. A. 2006. The Subfossil Occurrence and Paleoecological Implications of Macrotarsemes Petteri in Extreme Southeastern Madagascar. Compters renders per level 5 to 753 minus 762 Muldoon, K. M. de Blio, D. D. Simmons, E. L. and Chatrath, P. S. 2009. The Subfossil Occurrence and Paleoecological Significance of Small Mammals. At Ankalitalo Cave, Southwestern Madagascar. Journal of Mammalogy 90 to 1111 minus 1131. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.